I see 20 or 30 girls come in here every day from small towns with big dreams. Some girls Films like don't get much weirder than the Neon Demon, the latest offering from Copenhagen-born Nicholas Winding Refn. Refn's latest offering tells the story of a beautiful young girl who comes to Los Angeles in order to become a star in the ultra-competitive world of high fashion. Her name is Jessie, and she's played by a luminously angelic Elle Fanning, who looks good in and out of her designer dresses. Among Jessie's competitors are Gigi and Sarah, Jessie is also befriended by a lesbian makeup artist played by Jenna Malone. Her name is Ruby and she moonlights working on corpses. The film frequently reminded me of the dream worlds created by the great David Lynch. In fact, the neon demon bears a striking resemblance to Lynch's 2001 classic Mulholland Drive. Unfortunately, Refn's film is mostly eye candy. While more sensuous and mysterious than Terrence Malick's recent Night of Cups, another Holly Weird set film, in this case starring Christian Bale, The Neon Demon really owes too much to Lynch and doesn't have enough of its own. In the end, being weird and eye-catching is just not enough to make a movie great. The Neon Demon needs heart and soul, and it lacks both.